Peace and right. Fight, fight, fight. A group of protesters took their calls for better rent control to MPP Mario Sergio's office today. They are with ACORN, an advocacy group for low-income people. They're pushing for reforms to the so-called 1991 loophole that applies rent control only to units built before that year. ACORN says the high cost of rent in the city is especially hard for people making minimum wage. A person works a minimum wage, by the time they finish paying the lower end, which is $1,200, they're left with $709. If then you have to pay for hydro out of that $709, you have transportation, you have food, you're going to eventually wear out your clothes, shoes, and dare we say put a little bit of entertainment in there, can a person really and truly pay the high rent that existing in Toronto and still live on minimum wage? We don't think so. The group also wants rent control to be applied to units, not leases. Sergio wasn't in the office to meet them. The group was told he is out of the country because of an emergency. The protest is well-timed. Just yesterday, the Minister of Housing told me in a one-on-one -on -one interview that the province will be taking action. He promised Liberals will bring in new legislation to expand rent control. And today, that has landlords nervous. Take another listen to what he said. It's absolutely uh, unacceptable that renters are facing the pressures that they're, they're facing today. So we'll, we'll be bringing forward legislation that expands on the, uh, the rent controls that are currently in place. Any timeline on that? Uh, as minister, sooner rather than later. The 1991 rule was put in place uh, and the thinking back in those days was that it would uh, uh, spur on uh, purpose-built rental. Mm -hmm. um, with the number of people we have moving to uh, Toronto and the GTHA every year, Clearly it's not working.